89 MED here, and today I've got a video for you. I'm connecting V band to Morset. I picked up the V band from uh, Ham Radio Solutions out in Irvine, California. Uh, it's a simple USB interface, uh, it has a cable and some uh, instructions that come along with it. Uh, it is uh, self powered off of USB, and all you need is just a standard. Uh, camera connection kit uh, that uh, Apple has. When it's all set up and done, uh, you should have something that looks like this. This is your iPad with uh, or iOS device uh, with a camera connection kit, the supplied USB cable, and the V-band interface. Connecting a straight key to V-Band. This is what this final setup will look like. Let's go into Morset and go into the settings. And uh, from there, you want to choose your key type. Uh, we'll start out with a straight key, of course. Then choose your hardware interface. Go to straight key. And go ahead and enable the keyboard section. Remember that V-Band looks like a keyboard to morse it. There you want to choose a left control. That is the character that V-Band will put out to morse it. From there, just back out of all the settings and you should be good to go. Connecting an iambic paddle. This is what the setup will look like when the iambic paddle is connected. The solution is the same, uh, just like the straight key. You're just instead of choosing straight key, of course you're going to choose uh, your iambic A or iambic B paddle. From there, uh, of course, with a hardware interface, will be the next uh, you want to uh, choose. Go to iambic. And dot and dash uh, are going to be right control and left control, dot and dash. Now, you can also flip the two around, or you can flip it around in um, Morset if you need to, uh, but uh, this is the way I have it set up. You can work with either value in either direction. V-band paddle interfaces by Ham Radio Solutions. You visit their website, they got a pretty interesting um, internet CW. Morset, of course, is by Peco Labs. This is KD9 MED saying 73.